Welcome back. In the previous video, I have discussed what is case-based reasoning system in machine learning and how case-based reasoning system works. In this video, I will discuss how to apply case-based reasoning system on a given data set and how to find the value of a target variable for the given example. This is the solved example number one. The link for other examples is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given a database of a CBR system containing four cases. Each of these particular four cases containing three attributes. The first one is monthly income. Second one is account balance. Third one is homeowner. In this case, uh, the credit score is the target variable. Given this particular data set, we need to use the nearest neighbor retrieval algorithm to find the similar example. In this case, similarity function is also given to us. That is D of T comma S is equal to summation of I is equal to one till M, where M is the number of cases cardinality of t minus si multiplied by wi here t is the target case si is the source case wi is the weight assigned to each of these particular variables the cases with the smaller value of this distance that is d of t comma s are considered as more similar cases here this is the target case given to us in this case uh, monthly income is equal to 3 account balance is equal to 1 homeowner is equal to 2 Given this particular target case, we need to find the credit score for this particular target case. Given this particular information, we need to answer the following question. We will answer each of these particular questions one by one. The first question is, which case will be the CBR system retrieve as the best match if all the weights are assigned to one here? So first we need to find the, uh, the distance between the target case and the source. And based on that particular distance, we need to select one of this particular case as the best match for this particular new example. So uh, we know how to calculate the distance that is uh, D of T comma S is equal to summation of I is equal to 1 till M cardinality of T minus SI multiplied by WI. So we will calculate D of T comma S1 that is the distance between target and the case 1 which is equal to cardinality of T minus SI multiplied by wi so what is t uh, t in this case that is 3 si is nothing but the first one that is uh, 3 here so 3 minus 3 multiplied by wi wi is equal to 1 so that's the reason i have not written here second time it will be t is 1 and si will be 2 here so 1 minus 2 cardinality of 1 minus 2 multiplied by wi again it is equal to 1 here coming back to the next one that is 2 is the target 0 is the source here so 2 minus 0 that is what i have written here multiplied by w again which is equal to 1 so that's the reason i have not written here and once you solve it you will get d of t comma s1 is equal to 3 here similarly we need to calculate d of t comma s2 again uh, t is same here that is 3 s2 in this case is equal to 2 so 3 minus 2 that is what i have written here plus 1 minus uh, 1 over here that is what i have written here and the last one is 2 com 2 minus 1 that is what i have written here everywhere multiplication factor is wi which is equal to 1 so that's the reason i have not written so once you solve it you will get the answer as 2 here similarly d of uh, t comma s3 t is common s3 will be in this case in the first time it will be 3 second time it will be 2 and the third time it will be 2 here so that is nothing but cardinality of 3 minus 3 plus cardinality of 1 minus 2 plus cardinality of 2 minus 2 here so that is what i have written here and once you solve it you will get 1 as the answer Coming back to the last one that is D of uh, T comma S4. Again, T will be, remain same. S4 in this case is 0 in the first case, minus 1 in the second case, 0 in the third case. So once you put all those particular things in the equation, you will get 7 as the answer in this case. Now, if you look at this particular, the distances, the third case is having the smaller value. You can say that the third case is more similar to or best match for the new example in this case. So you can say that the third case is the best case in this case and the credit score of the third case is equal to 4. So that will be assigned to this particular uh, the target case over here. The credit score for the target uh, case is equal to 4 in this particular case. Coming back to the second question, the solution that CBI system should produce is the credit score rating. That is what we have done in the previous slide. Suggest how should solution of the retrieved case be adapted for the target case. So how we can adapt this particular case considering this particular target case. So that is what we need to answer over here. 
So credit score for the third case is equal to what? 4. That is what we have already identified in the previous uh, case. The only difference between this target uh, case and the third case is, we can see here, the monthly income is 3 here. Monthly income is 3 here. There is no problem. The homeowner is equal to 2 here. The homeowner is equal to 2 here. But there is a change in this particular account balance. So account balance for third case is equal to 2. Account balance for this target case is equal to 1 here. So that is the only difference between the third case and the target over here. So what we need to do here is we need to look at other examples uh, with respect to account balance and the credit score and we need to adjust this particular credit score over here. Now if you look at this particular target case account balance and the account balance of this particular the source cases uh, as and when the value of this particular account balance decreases the credit score is getting decreased. So what is that we need to do over here is again the target case account balance is less compared to the third case. So we need to reduce this particular credit score over here. So rather than having a credit score as 4, it is better to uh, have the credit score equivalent to 3 in this particular case. So this is how actually we can adapt the solution considering this particular target uh, case in this particular case. Now we will answer the third question that is what can be changed in the similarity function to make the feature that is account balance three times more important than any other feature. Will this change influence the solution? So first what we need to do here is so in the previous case uh, we have assigned a wi is equal to 1 that is weight for mi weight for uh, account balance and homeowner everywhere we have assigned the weight is equal to 1. Now what they are trying to say is we need to assign the weight for account balance three times the other one. For example the weight for uh, monthly income is equal to 1 weight for homeowner is equal to 1 in that case the weight for account balance is equal to 3 here. So that is how actually we need to change that particular similarity function and then we need to get the distances. Once you get the distance, we need to check whether that modification will influence the solution over here. So again, we will uh, use this particular similarity function and then we will try to calculate the distance between target and the source here. So target and source or the case 1 which is equivalent to again 3 minus 3 over here multiplied by wi. So w1 in the first case the weight with respect to monthly income is 1. So that's the reason multiplication by 1 over here. So that is not required to write. Coming back to the second one that is 1 over here and 2 over here 1 minus 2 multiplied by wi. What is that wi? The wi is 3 because the account balance weight is equal to 3 here. So that is what I have written with red color here. So cardinality of 1 minus 2 multiplied by 3 here. Coming back to the last one that is 2 minus 0 that is cardinality of 2 minus 0 multiplied by wi Again, the weight with respect to homeowner is equal to 1. So that is not required to be written here. So once you solve this part of thing, you will get 5 as the answer here. Similarly, we need to get the values or the distances for the second case, third case and the fourth case. We got the value 2, 3 and 11 in this particular case. Out of these particular four distances, the second distance is smaller here. So you can say that the second case is more similar to the target case. Because second case is more similar to the target case, uh, we will get uh, the second case as the best match for the target uh, case. And the credit score for the target case will be equal to 2 in this particular case. In the previous case, we got the credit score is equal to 4. Based on this particular target, we have modified it. We got it is equal to 3. But now, after modifying this particular weight, the weight for account balance we have set to 3. After modifying this particular weight, we got the th second case as the best case because of that the credit score is equal to 2 in this particular case. So in this video I have discussed how can we apply case based reasoning system on the given data set so that we can calculate the value of this particular target variable for the new example. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.